It's an interesting one um, about the scroll of destiny. Originally, when I first started to encounter the possibility of that I could see a scroll of destiny, um, I was excited to find out obviously what was on it. And to be honest, the father never actually showed me what was on it. I saw the outside of it. And as I looked at it, it sort of gave me what I probably now call a frequency or a, an energy that gave me a general sense of what my life was all about and, and how God had made me and that type of thing. And I was quite content, but of course, you, well, I want to see it. Can I see my scroll? Can I see what's on it? But what the father did with me is he showed me that actually, if we try to see it, we then try to probably figure it out and try and work it out. And then we probably end up doing it in our own strength, or we'd be so overwhelmed thinking, oh, I can't do that, that we probably give up. So what the father did with me is each day he revealed his desires for me for that day. And then all I had to do was to keep walking with him that day, like Jesus only doing what he saw the father doing, which essentially was his identity as the son of God and the son of man outworked in heaven and on earth. To bring about the fulfillment of God's purposes as his role as the word of God. Um, so for me, I began to follow every day, just seeking for that day. And when that day was outworked, then I guess I knew more of the scroll, if you like. Um, but what I really would come to now, and I would probably encourage you to see it more as an expression of the vast sum of God's thoughts about you so that you can fully know who you are. So it's a revealing of the nature that God has made you in regards to being in his image and likeness. So rather than a set of do's or don'ts or a set of things to do or at work, it's more about who you are in relationship with him that reveals your identity and position in heaven. And therefore the outworking of that comes from being and not trying to do. So I would encourage you to, rather than thinking about how do I see it? How do I access it? How do I relate to God in intimacy that reveals it, that reveals who I am and reveals the outworking of my sonship in relationship with him on a day-to-day -day basis without thinking about it in terms of, a, as you say, a set of things to do. It's more about, understanding how we're wired how he has made us to be and engaging those some of thoughts and letting those thoughts transform us and renew our mind so that eventually we know fully who we are and we mature in that knowledge uh, and we rest in that knowledge and so then we become and that is a state of consciousness a state of awareness and a state of being rather than thinking about what, what am I going to be doing today? What's the father got for me? Now, then when you look at your life, your life and the choices you get are made in what is right for you, according to who you are. And therefore God has not wired you a particular way. Then it's going to ask you to be totally different from who you are. That gives you that sense of rest but you never feel pressured to do anything outside of who you are. And you never feel pressured by people to be anyone else other than who you are. And that really is, I think, what the scroll of destiny is all about. You do have a scroll of your life, which is how you've lived out your destiny. And that gets to be full of gold, silver and precious stones. And we can have that refined in the fire of his love uh, to remove any wood, hay and straw that happens to be there so that only that which reflects who we truly are is left and remains and everything else is removed and purified and refined. If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.